Smith. And here comes Brooks the other way. Brooks has that speed that they tried to use on Portland. That's a foul. And Bynum knocks down Yao. That's number two. Bynum with his second. Andrew Bynum there just leans on Yao Ming and pushed him. He had done another ball. Four. The defense of Battier. The dive by Bryant. Now we have a little shot afterwards, as you can see. You know, Kobe... Bryant just picked up his first personal foul. Right now, he's a little bit flat. He doesn't feel well. Look at him at the end of this play. He gets a little upset. A lot of times, when I coach Michael, and you've seen him through the years, looking for something to just to get him fired up line. Difference of seven seconds. The game clock and shot clock. Stola is coming for Yao. Daddy looking for the Gasol screen, which he got, but he fights through. And by Stola, Gasol. This is the left-handed jam. Bryant got it on the ricochet. Goes by Stola. Throws it out to Fuya. The close by Landry. Stola got a hand on it. It is off of Houston. Well, Shane Battier just got an elbow. He's got a oh, he cut bleed. over his oh, left eye. Oh, my gosh. Eye. Is he bleeding? Wow. The officials don't see it. And now he has to point it out to everybody else. Is the terrific defender, Battier, a guy who's won a national championship. The Duke goes off to the side. They're going to stitch that up. See here, right there, you can see... Vujicic came down with that left arm and comes through. You can see as he goes through, knocks the ball loose, and then hits Shane Battier in the eye. Right there it is. You see the elbow as Vujicic uh, knocks the ball to Kobe. And then Kobe with the penetration actually playing five on four here right now. He finds Vujicic who uh, misses the three-point shot from the corner. Doug, you had a lot of questions coming into this series, but in particular, you were wondering if the Rockets could defend well enough to slow Los Angeles down. Could they get their defense set? Well, you've watched most of this first quarter. What do you see so far? And then the Rockets have been moving that ball from side to side well, but that time a throw away by Barry, and it's a seventh turnover. And picked up by Christian Pelais, but Barry, they go into the camera guy underneath the basket. In a rugged play. No, you want to speak that play. No, uh, young guy either, he's coach. He's played a lot of years <laughs> in this NBA, 14 to be exact. And he turned that ball over and was backpedaling. And uh, Derek Fisher, the rule of thumb here is you keep driving that ball until somebody stops. You see Brent Berry just keeps backpedaling, never makes an attempt to get up and stop the ball. And then with the result of that, he got back into that uh, restricted area. Derek Fisher understands that, too. Very tough players. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> but the ability to get a shot at the end of the clock. Five seconds to go and you get a layup. Charging inside the triple team. Bryant. Dow is down. Gasol finishes off. And holding his knees, you can see that is not a good sign if you're a Rocket fan. Well, he was in congestion there. I don't know what happened on the play. We'll have to see, but... Boy, the Rockets right now just absolutely are holding their breath. There, Keith Jones, the athletic trainer out there looking at Yao Ming. You see Rick Adelman, the concern on his face. You have to look at this, Kevin, because I cannot take a look at any time anybody gets, a, gets a, any kind of knee injury when you've had one. Kobe was driving and looked like hit Kobe's left knee hit Yao's right. Yet went down. I think it's all picked it up. The basket by Ooh. Gasol, yep, right there. Good wow. job by our camera people. And Yao is still down. And we will take a timeout. 4.54 to play here in the fourth quarter. Guards for the Rockets here early. Screen by Landry. Open Ariza. It's a three by Lowry. A good looking rebound by Yao. Digging inside, that is a foul. Oh, an offensive foul here. Is this on Yao Ming for pushing off? If it is, that's his third. It is, number three, much to the chagrin of Coach Rick Adelman. Let's watch his off arm. Keep your eye on his off arm. The ball goes up, he gets the rebound. Now watch his right arm. Oh, he jumps in, he rules it, he jumps into Gasol. Landry on Odom. Now Stola on Odom, who is pushing inside. Stola and Odom have some words together. And now Walton and Stola have a couple of words. With 29 seconds to play in the third. Now Vujicic comes over with Stola. 
Well, he's got the entire Lakers team tipped off at him. He's had a conversation with just about everybody. It's going to be a technical foul on somebody, I guarantee you. It's going to be a two-shot foul. Typically said, calm it down, too much chatter. And there's the hit in the head that, that Odom gets. As the play goes over, you see these guys, they were chirping earlier. They were warned earlier. And Luke Walton comes over and gets in the fray. Scola's got something to say to him, so Joey's going to stop this real quickly. Starting to get a little testy here is what happens. We've seen Effective in game one. Tonight he and uh, Brooks. Oh, are what a shot by Fisher right in the face of Scola. And that was, that was, uh, there was meaning to that. It reminds Absolutely. me a little bit of uh, Darren Williams when uh, we were in here late in the year when he got fouled, did not get it called, and ran down and went right into Bynum. He's in a scrap there on his head, he does. There's Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher is quietly one of the toughest players in the NBA. When he came back to the Lakers, he brought that savvy, that toughness of a three-time champion. Kobe trusts him so much, but you see it right there. He saw oh, him coming. Wow. And that, that, there was a message in that. Absolutely. Like, like, believe me, take that. So we're going to see here what the referees decide on this. And he saw him. He, I mean, he back. saw him. His arm came up, and th there was a message to that. You know, sometimes your toughness comes other place on the floor than just your big guys. And this guy's a tough guy, Derek Fisher. The force of the hit so hard. We'll give and go that time. Luke Walton making a contribution tonight after being out with that to foot injury. Walton's got four in 13 minutes. Battier finds Yao. Will they double with Walton? Over the shot. Loose ball for that is on the Houston Rockets. To be on Ron Artest Ron Artest. against Kobe Bryant. He's going to be very careful, but he does not get his technical. He said that uh, he's going to go over here. He's talking to Kobe. Wow, here, here we go. Uh-oh. He went right over to Bryant. Then Ron Artest. Remember now, the last time they did this, Kobe scored 18 points about the last four and a half minutes of the game. Ron Artest has... Uh, Gotten very, very upset. I think they have thrown Ron Artest out of the game. 18 of Bryant's points came in the final 4-13 of the game despite some physical play from Ron Artest. Both were assessed teams in the fourth quarter. After they began jawing at each other. So there is history. Let's see what happens here. Let's see underneath the basket. Oh, it looked like Kobe elbow, got him yep. with the right elbow up underneath sure his, uh, in his uh, throat. That's what made Ron Artest so unhappy. Now he goes over and says something to Kobe. Kobe says, get out of here. And uh, Joey Crawford getting in there quickly. Very smart to do. Goal back out. Wait for the three. Walko. Yeah, I mean, the rebound. Back up. Misses. Grab it. Falls down and a foul. He's going to go against Powell the call. And the Rockets. Landry picks up the lead ball. Landry out to Wafer. Oh, a hard foul from Boyacic. As Wafer goes down, Wafer got him up in the air. I think they're going to the replay. If they're going to the replay, that means it's a flagrant two. No, I think they're going to see if it's a three-point shot. Makes it eight with 45 seconds to go. Gasol driving and a hard foul as Gasol goes down hard. Gasol went up. He went to block the shot, obviously the foul. And let's see what the call is going to be. So let's see what the call is. Corbin shining with Steve Javi. It's our test. It's a hard foul. No question, a hard foul, but. The officials are going to review it. Call it a flagrant two. So he's ejected. They're not going to keep it a flagrant two. That's the, that's the initial call on the court. Now they'll review it. I, I, it's, that isn't even a flagrant foul. Let alone a flagrant two. Well, that's just a good hard foul. Now he lands because he's a seven-footer who's up in the air. That's not, that's not a flagrant foul, though. He lands awkwardly. It, it doesn't matter. Odom. Oh, Odom went down hard on his back. And he's hurt. No pushing whatsoever. Take a look and listen.
Mattier did a great job getting in, and Olin's going to stay in the game, although Phil Jackson trying to get him out. Wow. That is awful defense. And our test trying to walk away from Kobe Bryant after the two. And a technical foul call on Kobe Bryant. Bryant and our test, two foul, it was later rescinded. Here it is. I don't know if that's a little bit of an overreaction to our test. This is a high No, they didn't. Kobe Bryant hit him with a legitimate elbow block, and now Ron Artest gave his displeasure. He got a technical foul. They haven't come close to anything. No, this I, is an overreaction to perceived physical altercation. Now, the two of them talking about Artest is being very calm about the matter, and I, I think they probably both think the same thing. The, the personal foul was called on Artest before this a while ago after the play. The two very calmly talking about it. We've seen that throughout the playoffs. No, Kobe.